Hello YouTube, it's your boy Dante with another optimization guide. Today we will be looking at the game Marvel's Rivals. In this guide, I will show you side by side comparison of each graphics setting in the game and their performance costs, so you guys can easily choose which setting to apply according to your hardware. Along with that, I will also mention my own recommendation for each setting as well. So without further delay, let's get to it. Just to inform that for this guide, I am using an RTX 3060 Ti with a frame rate capped at 120fps on 1080p resolution. Also we will be optimizing only the settings that are under the graphics section, as above these are just basic stuff like resolution, vsync and DLSS etc. So the first option under there is just an optimize button, which will only auto detect and apply settings for you according to your hardware. But like most games, this button won't do an accurate job, so we will ignore this. And after that we get graphics quality, which again like most games is just a preset selection. Now comes the real optimization. Global illumination affects the overall lighting of the game. SSGIE is just a standard illumination method used in most Unreal Engine games, while Lumen is an advanced Unreal Engine 5 illumination technique. Think of it like Ritter's global illumination, which is of course better, but costs a ton of more performance. Performance wise in this scene, going from SSGI low to SSGI high, Lumen high and Lumen ultra, the game gave me 113, 110, 96 and 80 FPS respectively. Here I would recommend SSGI high quality, as the performance gain is huge and the difference is something that you will never notice in a fast paced game like this. Next is Reflection Quality, which is another name for Screen Space Reflections, or SSR in short. This applies reflections to reflective surfaces in the game, like this water here. Once again, there is a standard version of SSR and a Lumen version. SSR gave me 76 FPS, while Lumen SSR gave me 72 FPS. Here I recommend standard SSR, as the Lumen version somehow had almost no difference in this scene. And in a lot of other places, Lumen Reflections exhibits a lot of pixelation and didn't look good. Model detail is used to adjust the level of detail used in models like it says here. But for some reason, I think this setting may be broken at this time. Because in the game, there was literally no difference between low and ultra settings. And even the FPS cost was the same. I tried restarting the session and even the game as well but still got the same results. So here I cannot recommend anything until the devs fix this setting. Next is post processing, which adds minor effects like motion blur, depth of field, bloom or chromatic aberration to the games. All of these effects don't seem to cost any FPS at all. And this game don't even have chromatic aberration and depth of field, which is the reason there was no FPS difference between low and ultra setting. Here I would recommend ultra setting for post processing. Shadow detail controls the resolution of shadows in game. As you can see here, higher settings have sharper shadows while medium has blurry ones and low completely disables shadows in the game making the image look flat. Performance wise going from low to ultra, the game gave me 115, 110, 106 and 101 FPS. Here I would recommend medium shadows, but you can use high if you have the performance headroom. Don't use ultra shadows as they were giving pop-in issues in a lot of areas in the game like the shadow of this railing here. Texture detail controls the resolution of textures throughout the game. Texture is a setting that uses the VRAM of your GPU and as long as you have enough VRAM, you will lose 0 FPS with textures. Here is the VRAM usage of this game depending on the resolution, so choose this according to your hardware. Effects Detail is a setting that controls the intensity of a lot of natural effects like fog along with your character's abilities. Here is an example of low versus ultra fog like effect in this game. In this scene the game does not cost me any FPS loss in ultra setting. But in a lot of cases where there are tons of superhero abilities on screen, 
you may lose like 3% of your performance. So here I would normally recommend ultra setting but if you are having problems in battle then set this to lower values. Foliage quality sets the draw distance and density of grass and other vegetation. However, since it is absent from most battle areas of this game, it doesn't impact the performance. As you can see even in this scene where there is some vegetation visible, there was no FPS loss going from low to ultra which is why I would recommend ultra setting for foliage. Here is the comparison and FPS cost of ultra versus optimized setting. As you can see there is no moderate noticeable difference in the visual of both setting but performance wise we went from 81 FPS to 115 FPS. And this brings us to the end of the guide. If this video was helpful to you, kindly like, subscribe and support the channel. Good luck and happy gaming.